Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a continuity of my previous video. In my previous video, I have showed how to upload images into a server in ASP.NET Core with Blazor application. In this part 2 video, I will show you how to fetch records from the database and display on the Razor component. The image is in the byte array. After that, we have converted that byte array into the image. That's it. And one more time I'm telling, I have not concentrated on the designing part. Here I have showed how to implement the services on the Razor component. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding path, how to fetch the records from the database and display on this component. First, we'll check the output of my previous video, what I have showed. In my previous video, I have added one navigation link. When a user clicks this upload, we get this Razor component, which contains one image name. Let's add some XYZ. XYZ is the image name, and I'm choosing the file to upload. Let's select that image. It's a JPEG file. Now, before insert this record, we'll check in the database table. The table name is a save image. Right now, this table contains two records. Let's insert this record. Click insert. I will check the output. I'm executing this statement again. And here we got the results of this table. See, the new record has been added successfully. If you missed my previous video, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that link. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. My aim is I want to fetch this record, the image ID, image name and image, which is in byte array. I want to convert this image byte array into image and display on the this upload razor component below that in a table. So let's continue the tutorial, today's tutorial. And this is the coding part. Most of the coding part I have showed in my part one video. So I sincerely recommend before continuing this video tutorial, please cover my part one video. Once again, I'm telling at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that link. So in Razor components, we write the code in the services. If you notice in this project, I have added one services folder which contains my image service, which is this one. In this service, I have added one function called uploading image, which contains to upload the data into a database. Now to display the records, let's add one more function in this service, public. I'm adding the list class. In this list class, the type of elements you're getting from the class name, this image class, image class, let's add display images. After that, I'm adding the return underscore db context dot. My table name is save image. So let's add that one save image dot to list method. That's it. It's a simple single line code to fetch the records from this table. Now let's call this service in this images upload razor component. Come to the bottom. Notice in this code, I have written the handle file selector. This code is belongs to, to upload the file. Now we'll add one more function here to display the records. String convert image to display to display let's add the byte i'm converting the byte array into images let's add the image now if the image is not equals to null which means if the image is available if image is not equals to null I'm converting the byte array into the image. So I'm declaring the variable base 64 is equals to 
let's convert convert to base 64 string I'm converting the image object after that now we need to format this base 64 into the JPEG format so far more variable FS so string dot convert uh, format format method between double quotes and adding data column this image this image the format I want to display image forward slash JPEG the variable I'm adding base 64 comma I'm adding the expression 0 comma the arguments is a base 64 the variable name column and I return this function return fs and this function return empty if the image is not found I'll get the empty results then we need to add here one list class in this list class I'm adding the image class let's create the image object Object, display object image display object display object after that the next step is we need to add the service we need to call the service so I'm adding here one more function protector override void on initialize method just delete this default code of this method and here I am adding image display this object name the list item object name is equals to service service dot notice here once I add the service we got display images the function name display images let's add this function name here dot display images after that it's time to display the records uh, images on the component so let's add the designing part I'm creating a table element here inside this table table I'm adding a border size 1 this table contains tr and tr table headers in our table we have three columns image ID second table header is the image name and the third one is the image after that we need to display the records from this tables so um, so I'm adding at for each loop I'm using for each loop to fetch the records variable image show is an object in I'm adding this variable curly brackets tr td the first td I am adding at image show dot notice here I am getting the properties from the image class td at image show dot image name and the final one I want to display the images so we require the image element the image element contains a property called source in the source I'm adding at we need to add this convert image to display so we are converting the byte array into image image show dot image and I'm adding the width of this image is 100 pixels let's close this image tag that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser let's run this project and here we've got the final output let's click the upload see here we got the final output right now we have three records in our table here we got three records let's insert the new record Peter the image name is let's choose file 
I'm choosing the file here which is a JPEG file click insert let's refresh this one upload see here the fourth record let's execute this table Peter record what I'm doing here let's add this service display image the whole thing the wide submit so once we insert the new record and when page loads I want to display the image also on the table so let's restart the browser now let's check the final output click upload so now we've got four records in our table these are the four records this is a bike array the image array displaying images let's insert the new image Warum? I'm selecting new file the JPEG file I'm sorry I have selected click insert see here we got the Warum record has been inserted successfully let's check in our database also save image execute see here the Warum record the image is in the byte array after that we have converted that byte array into the image that's it and one more time i'm telling i have not concentrated on the designing part here i have showed how to implement the services on the razor component 